Hey guys, today we're going to be breaking down a smoke execute on cobblestone that we saw executed by ninjas in pajamas against mouse bots in the MLG Columbus 2016 group stages. And Nip used the strat a total of four times, and of these they won three of them, with the fourth being executed very late into the round and against a five man stack on B side, so quite difficult anyway. You can see three players just outside middle here throwing smokes into B site and then moving through halls to take B. These smokes are complemented by a smoke and molotov that exist to create a wall across the B site. Nip then enter, plant the bomb, and hold the site. So initially Threat, Forest, and Freiburg move towards middle, throwing a flash to deter anyone peeking the doors, and then immediately line up their smokes. Freiburg jumps up and onto this wall, lining himself up just to the right of this crack, and then aims at this brick beneath the lower left corner of the hole in the wall. He then jumps, throws the smoke, and it flies over the castle ramparts and down onto the middle of the site, just here on top of this wall. He then proceeds to B site, putting a Molotov down in drop, and then just holds flat, helping his team out with flashes and ultimately getting some big frags. Next we see Forrest pushing himself into the corner between the plant pot and the wall, aiming beneath the left corner of the hall above him and then in line with this part of the brick. Uh, he then jumps and throws the smoke, which again flies over the ramparts, bouncing off the top of drop roof and down into the left part of the site. He then proceeds over to B site, flashing through the smoke and picking up two huge frags before finally going down. The last of the trio is Threat, who comes up on the wall just in front of Freiburg, lines himself up at the corner of the wall, and then looks up to the lower left corner of this wall and down to the specific brick, then jumps and throws his move. Like the others, this sails majestically over the ramparts and lands on the right side of the site, completing the wall of smokes across the site. Again, like the others, Threat proceeds to B site, puts the bomb down, and then makes trouble for the CT he's trying to retake by staying on the site. Finally, we move to B Halls, where we see Exist and Get Right. Initially, they double nade drop in case the CTs try to boost, and then they push down long. Exist completes the wall of smokes by placing a smoke between long and planter like this. Then gets a Molotov up by the tree, as this is the most powerful spot against a smoke execute like this. He then times a flash of get right to allow get right to push around planter and through the smoke, then gets onto the site, clearing coop and holding for post plant. Now to round it off, we're going to look at get right. He nades drop with exist, then speeds out long, using a common smoke to smoke off the broken wall. He pop flashes the site off this wall and tries to push through the smoke round planter, but is unfortunately caught and killed. However, two rounds prior, Get Right did the same thing and gathered both a kill and great info that one nipped the round. So this shows off the versatility of the execute as it allows for both a B push but also a B fake with the three smoke players instead going towards A. However, in this round, uh, Get Right had pushed the smokes and got the info that the CTs were rotating, realizing once they got a kill on A that it, it was going to be an A push because they saw the bomb. So Threat cleverly with this info that Get Right had given him, stopped the A execute and instead brought the bomb round to B instead, which was now clear, and it made it a hell of a lot harder for the CTs to try and retake, um, and ultimately won them the round. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown of this strat. Uh, there's timings in the video description for all the nade spots, you can quickly flick to them and learn how to do them. And as always, thanks for watching.